Alright guys, this is the second part to the Witoken theme installation. So next thing that you need to do is go into your... Alright, now that my phone is in front of my computer, it's really hard to see. So, to zoom in really far. So the next thing that you need to do is open iBlank, which you, which is one of the things that you downloaded from, uh, from Cydia. Okay, so you're going to go, oh, I just got rid of, is you need to download the theme, the link is in the description, okay. So you're going to look at the screenshots, I'm going to post the screenshots in the video. Um, right after I show you this and it's going to show you exactly how your springboard needs to be needs to look um, so you can I'll show you exactly how many eye blanks you need for each page so basically you're going to go into eye blank you're going to choose how many blanks you need for each page I believe it's 11 or 12 I can't remember and then respring ish it'll set the language create the eye blanks and you should be okay. Okay, so after you've done that, um, okay, so here are the screen. you will download it as a um, it'll download as a RAR file or WinRAR or whatever you have um, might be hard to see this is what it'll look like with token iPod touch 3.0 theme um, so you double click on that now you're going to get this it's gonna say iPhone or iPod touch okay so here's the readme if you want to do the reading file of how to get this theme um, but if you have an iPhone you're gonna click iPhone iPod touch click iPod touch simple as that so you're gonna hit iPhone okay so this is what you're going to get in here um, you're gonna go down to this guy right here, with token by 6MIK. Alright. So, work. Alright. So, what you're going to have to do is you are going to take this theme right here, the with token by 6MIK. Um, you're going to extract that to the desktop. So extract to the desktop, hit OK. Wait for it to do its thing. Here's the screenshots that are included. Um, and it shows you where to put the eye blanks, but this is not, don't look at these screenshots. You can look at them ha of how the template goes, but don't use the icons that they have there. Um, so once you have that extracted, it's gonna come up and look like this. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna get the folder. Now what you need to do is extract this folder, or just, sorry, drag it to the desktop, and then you can delete this one. Alright, now, here's your folder, double click on that, now this is what you're going to get in it. Um, you are going to open up WinSCP, if you're on Windows, if you're on Mac, you guys know how to do it. You're gonna hit. You're gonna select your device. You're gonna hit login. You guys should know this. If you're familiar, if you're um, sort of new to this stuff, you can check out my video on how to SSH in your iPhone or iPod Touch. Alright, 
I wasn't actually connected to my Wi-Fi, so <laughs> that's why mine didn't work. Okay, so type in your password. Log in. There we go. So now that you're in here, you're going to hit this. You're going to go back to var, and you're going to go down to stash, and you're going to hit themes. And then you're going to take this theme here and drag it in. Make sure you do not drag it into a folder. Um, once you have it in, it's going to be right here with token theme. If you drag it into a folder, do not panic. It will come up as this. Where do you want to copy the file? Do you want to copy it? It's going to ask you if you want to copy it to the Sorg theme. All you're going to do is take this and delete from that asterisk. You're going to delete Sorg theme right there. That will just take you to the themes folder. If you, or you can class X and do it all again. Okay, once you get that, double click on it. Now, this is the part that might give you troubles because when you do this and you check it off on Winterboard, you are going to find that um, <clears throat> the icons are not there. Okay? So, easiest way to do that, I believe, um, I'm just trying to remember which ones weren't there. YouTube was one of the ones that would just show up as a YouTube icon and it wouldn't match the theme. All you have to do for this, it's only because it's a name mismatch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click this. You're going to go to UI images. No, sorry. You're gonna go to icons. You are going to go down to YouTube. If you notice, YouTube on your phone will look like this, okay? Okay, well you can't see it because it doesn't actually say it. YouTube on your phone underneath, I have no undocked icon label so you can't see the label for it. But it says YouTube in all is one word. When you get this theme, this YouTube will show up as two words. And it's not right. It shows up on one word in the iPhone and two words on here. All you have to do is take out the space and make it to one word. And then it will put it to that exact... Um, To what you need it to be. Um, there's another icon in there, paper toss. I think they had it as lowercase and all one word. All you have to do is change it to exactly how it says, capital P and capital T, and there's a space between it. That will solve your missing icon problems. Okay. After that, you can exit out of it, or you can exit out of this. Sorry. And should be able to go back to your iPhone. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you'll be able to go back to your phone and do all the rest of the steps from there. So what you're going to need to do is go into Winterboard. you're obviously going to have to check off your theme should be in here there it is with token you're going to hit no undocked icon labels and no docked icon labels press the home button and let it respring 